This is the EOC Mobile Command Center. We have received initial reports of a dirty bomb going off in the area. After checking the cell coverage, we have determined that it is down due to overactivity. So we therefore have to de uh, deploy the WizardNet wireless system. Uh, when you receive these units, please use them and respond to the emergency response center as soon as possible. Over. Been a dirty bomb explosion, massive casualties. All communications infrastructure has been destroyed. The Telegrid uh, WizardNet system is being deployed in a mass network scenario. Uh, coverage is good. Voice communications are solid. We send emergency personnel and any resources necessary. The Telegrid WizardNet system would fit well into a hypothetical scenario such as a nuclear detonation. Whether it is a dirty bomb or full-scale explosion, it should be assumed that all communications in and around the blast radius will be disabled. For example, during the 9-11 disaster, cellular communications became impossible due to the sudden increase in people trying to use their cell phones on an overloaded network. Telegrid handsets provide a rapidly deployable voice and data communication system that doesn't require internal or external infrastructure for basic operations. They operate in a mesh configuration at 2.4 GHz using a modified version of the ZigBee protocol. This permits the handsets to cover large areas using very low transmitter power. Each portable node is small, lightweight, weatherproof, and provides exceptional battery life, many times that of conventional two-way land mobile radio systems. Responding personnel, each carrying a handset, can use the push-to-talk feature for immediate voice interaction and coordination of assistance. Secure text message transactions can be set from handset to handset or to computers using the Wizard Chat program. This system is very similar to a standard instant messenger program familiar to most computer and social network users. If responding agencies provide a satellite communications link, the WizardNet gateway can be configured to provide external telephone line access to any personnel carrying a handset. Although this type of smart radio does not have the ability to natively send a standard XML common alerting protocol or CAP message, it can be sent as an attachment using the Wizard Chat program from PC to PC using tethered handsets. This system is one of the few available technologies that comes close to achieving this goal with handheld devices. Stramusa wishes to thank the Edgewood Chemical and Biological Center and the Monmouth University Rapid Response Institute for their support on the RISES project.